Sorry about that. Just realizing that when I hit the volume keys on my phone, maybe just the bottom one, um, turns my phone off. So I don't know how much video I've been <clears throat> getting on and getting off. So we'll see. Another couple lawn chairs. I'm stationed here. It's a nice little spot. There's a path from my mother and father-in-law's house that the deer actually made. But they could access this area. See up there is their home. They could access this area via this path. You have this bench here or these couple chairs here to kind of enjoy the views, the sights, and the sounds. It's peaceful down here, that's for sure. Um, you know, you come in the morning, come at night. Um, what I like to do is come right before light or right before dark and spend some time down here and it really comes alive if you just sit like i'll sit down on the tree stand there and just silently sit there for a little bit praying and uh, it really comes alive and uh, once the coyotes get yipping and yelling it can almost get a little bit eerie too but you know all part of it so again here's this fencing you can see there's an old border here old fence line See them? I found one post laying down. I put some statues and stuff around. Um, old posts laying on the ground. I put it up there. Memorial to the days of past. Here's the next fence post. So you'd start to get the line of the old field. That would have been the edge of the field. So then I have a path that can go back out that way, or we can come back around, hook back around. Near that tree, and some may mayflowers. Always beautiful. We'll see those in the forest. At least that's what I call them. I'm not sure if that's actual name. Off the maybe I'll take a picture here. Some cool things. Some cool apps that I've been using a lot of is I uh, just identify bird, identify plant, plant identify, bird identify. And so now you're back down to tree stand on the north side uh, I replaced Mikel's toilet in his area and uh, really like the old one so kind of a little bit weird like that I have a little eccentric side to me but it's kind of washed in it's still uses a seat with the lid down of course and uh, catch this view down through this gully so sure Sitting on the throne still. <clears throat> nice view of the valley here. Still got the old throne. Got the old throne. Replaced Mikel's toilet. He said he liked his old one, so I kept it for him. Put it here. It's kind of field and a little bit in the back so it's there pretty stable nice little view of the golly here still sitting on the throne so Again, a little area I've set up here. These old statues, a lot of them were from, uh, I believe, Angel's Italian side grandparents. They kind of moved around different people's houses in the family and uh, got busted up a couple of times. Some of them I've repaired. Um, no one seemed to permanently want them in the yard, so. I've kind of stationed them as spots here in these woods. And this is a really nice spot. You can see. Very beautiful, peaceful spot. Yeah, and this isn't so far into the woods. There's my entrance right there in my house. So come down here. If you're not in for the deep up and down hill hikes, just relax right here. And you can, you know, finish your Combaschini. 
So after I get done with all the children, um, you know, it's when I switch to my own prayers. So it's kind of a, well, not kind of, but prayer of repentance, uh, the Jesus prayer, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy me a sinner, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy me a sinner, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy me a sinner, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy me a sinner, Lord Jesus Christ, and you kind of work the Combaschini through your fingers, uh, saying this prayer, and I'll go around this Combaschini three times, saying that uh, Jesus prayer, and then uh, I'll finish up, uh, with a penny prayer, uh, so I like saying it in Greek. E penny year thou tokas sosonimas. E penny year thou tokas sosonimas. E penny year thou tokas sosonimas. I just really love the sound, the Greek version of that prayer. But uh, you know, I guess literally translated, it would be uh, 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 Most Holy Mother of God, um, save us. So you know, we just had Mother's Day, <clears throat> and we know. Uh, how close Jesus was with his mother, uh, Mary. And so, you know, just like we ask our friends for prayers, uh, say, so, you know, we're going through a tough time in our family, or this lockdown's tough, you know, financially, um, or, you, you know, you may be uh, of the percentage of people who are taking COVID very seriously because they have a relative who um, has passed on because of it, you know, who have succumbed to the uh, d the virus. And so those uh, particular people are taking this very serious because they felt uh, the effects, the painful effects of this, um, <clears throat> medically speaking, you know. And then there are the people who are feeling the economic effects of this too. So, you know, everybody's got a, a sign. But, um, you know, so you, you may say to a friend, you know, uh, you know, please pray for my family. You know, we're going through tough times. And uh, so much like that, the Orthodox Christians pray uh, to the saints. And, and uh, at the top of this list is uh, the Virgin Mary, Jesus' mother, you know, because, um, you know, imagine if your mom asked you uh, to do something for someone else. You know, you'd be much more inclined to do it if your own mother asked you. Uh, to do that for that person rather than that person uh, asking you to do it or you to think of it on your own. So uh, that's kind of the, the premise of uh, when we reach out to, uh, in prayer uh, to the Theotokos, uh, the, the birth giver of God, um, you know, the Virgin Mary. And uh, so, Ipanihia Theotokos Sosonimas. Beautiful, beautiful prayer. So I'll f usually finish uh, with just one uh, time all the way around with the Panihia prayer. And that whole prayer routine, uh, you know, starting with my wife, uh, going through my children, um, the Jesus prayers and the Panagia prayers, usually would take about 20, 25 minutes. Uh, now I'm making this video, walking and talking, so it's being interrupted a little bit. And so, and the beautiful thing is, uh, usually if I start it at, at my yard and start my prayer routine, by the time I would get to Mikkel's camp, it was just, uh, it became the routine that I would be uh, at his point in the prayer. So it was uh, kind of a nice little thing. And then I would get to uh, the pond by the time I, I would be finished uh, with uh, the prayers for the uh, children. And then I would start the prayers for myself and get back to this point. And then, see, when I'm done with the pen a year prayers, then I would start saying the prayers that others have asked me to pray. So, like I said, I, I think I mentioned before, I start with my nephew, you know, uh, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, remember Micah. And now I would go through each niece, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, remember Anna, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, remember Natalia, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, remember Gabriella, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, uh, remember Stasi, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, remember Stella. So... Um, you know, I'll go through my nieces, and then I'll go through each one of their families, and then I would pray for certain bishops and priests and deacons that I know, and uh, monastics, and uh, then just, you know, uh, the people I come in contact that ask me for their prayers. You know, the wrestling, the coaching, the wrestling family that I have, the soccer family, uh, the church family, you know, um, you know my actual uh, extended family, um, you know, friends that I consider family. Uh, Facebook friends that I've gotten to know via, you know, social media communication that I uh, have grown to uh, know, you know, through that avenue. And I'll say prayers for all of these people. So, and uh, it really gives me a sense of, um, you know, even where I fail 
to actually do something for somebody, at least I'm offering up prayer, you know, because some people, I have friends in California, I have friends in Greece, I have, uh, you know, monastics that I know on the Holy Mountain, uh, you know, I have bishops I know in Constantinople and Australia and Crete and, you know, that I'm in communication with. And so obviously to actually be in physical location with all these friends all the time is impossible. And so I offer a lot of prayers uh, for these types of friends. And, um, you know, and may God keep and protect us all. All right. So as I finish my... Uh, as I finish up my prayers, at this point, I start coming out of the forest. Of course, I didn't do any exercises today. Um, so as I finish my prayers and come out of the forest here, and now I got the dogs followed me up, freely followed me up. So they'll come up into the house. I'll give them a snack, being such good puppies. Just one little doggy snack. And then they'll go see Mikhail. And the birds, as you can see, are still all around. This will last throughout all the day. You, know, you have the early birds. <clears throat> they come in and get all the good stuff. Most of the bird seed, uh, the sunflower seed, <clears throat> and uh, the shelled corn's gone early. But there's some meal seed and some of those birds are very messy, so they'll knock stuff on the ground. And uh, so you'll have the ground foragers all day. See that woodpecker over there? He'll find the ones that fell down into the fence structures. See, there'll be pieces that fall down in. And these woodpeckers, like that one over there, that red bellied woodpecker, will uh, work around and throughout the rest of the day and get a lot of those so back from the morning prayer walk I don't know if you can see it yeah it seems like it's showing up on the video the moon's still up you have the sunrise in the east and you have the moon still visible the southwest fire pit extra supply acorns we have some of the uh, northern perulas nested into that they usually come early you know not super early they're usually here by the end of March <clears throat> and then uh, the roses again but the northern perulas and that acorn are usually here by the end of March and by like July 4th, I start to, it seems like they disappear, so. Little cycles. I might as well show you the full out north side. I don't think I've done that on the video yet. Oh, there we go, check this out. Oh yeah, Duffy's on it. There's a nice red-tailed squirrel chilling there. You know, we've had a family of those. So here's that uh, swing that Solomon Shisko and I built last summer. It was the original post for our deck. We put in all this, and this is the result. This was a dream of my wife. So here's your view. You know, it's kind of the north. Ah. There's Willie. In the northwesterly view, the porch swing. Great thanks to Solomon Shisko and my wife. My wife wanted it. Solomon Shisko said he could do it. I guess I had the tools and the material. The rest was history. air we breathe, the sunlight we see, freely given, our greatest blessings.